A perpetuity is an investment that has no definite end, a stream of cash payments that continues forever. Mathematically, the sum of an infinite stream of numbers is undefined. However, the present value of a perpetuity is not undefined, as eventually the future cash flows are received so far into the future they have no value to us today. A real life example of a perpetuity are war loans, bonds issued by the UK government with no redemption date. Also, income from real estate can be considered a perpetuity if we assume we will receive rent from it into the foreseeable future. We will look at two types of perpetuities, constant and growing perpetuities. Let's say we deposit $100 today. If interest rates are 10%, in one year's time I would have $110. I could withdraw $10, leaving $100. I leave this $100 in the bank for another year, and at the end of year 2 I would again have $110. I could withdraw $10, leaving $100, and so on. In other words, I have created a stream of $10 every year forever, starting with $100. Therefore, the present value of a perpetuity, if interest rates were 10%, paying $10 every year is $100, which we can also write as $10 divided by 10%. So, from our example, we can see that it is possible to calculate the present value of a cash flow which will occur in perpetuity. The present value of a constant perpetuity is the payment we are to receive into perpetuity divided by the discount rate or the required rate of return. Using the figures from our previous example, you can see that this formula gives us the same present value of 100. A growing perpetuity is again a stream of cash flows that start one year from today and go on forever. However, the amount that we receive grows by a constant growth rate g. We can calculate the present value of a growing perpetuity by using the following formula. The present value is the first payment we received one year from today, divided by the discount rate minus the constant growth rate. As a demonstration on the use of a growing perpetuity, put yourself in the position of an analyst trying to value a dividend paying stock. Let's assume that the price of the stock is equal to the present value of all the future dividends you will receive from owning the stock. This is a fair assumption to make if you intend to buy and hold the stock for a long period of time. Let's now assume that the dividend you will receive one year from today is $5, but the company's dividend policy leads you to believe this will grow at a steady rate of 1% per year. Let's insert these two variables in cells B1 and B2. Finally, let's say your required rate of return is 10%. Let's insert this value into cell B3. In cell B5, I'm going to type my growing perpetuity formula, which will read equals 5 divided by bracket B3 minus B2 close bracket. This gives us a present value of $55.56. If the stock is trading below this figure, this may represent a buying opportunity for us.